G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to the Craftworks SMP. I am older than I was the last time you saw me. That's right, I had a birthday last weekend and I managed to get together a couple of the Craftworks SMP members and we went out to the PvP arena, which is now finished inside and out, and, uh, and I let them beat me up for my birthday. Isn't that wonderful? What a nice person I am. Um, here, let me show you how bad I am at PvP. <laughs> okay, are the combatants the ready for the inaugural fight of the battle arena? Yeah. <laughs> Yar. Yar. Yark. Oh, the pirate's that, coming out. Oh, that's my PvP, <laughs> my PvP voice. Shush. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, warriors, get ready. Yeah. Get set and go. Ow, oh. I got hit by a bush immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We get to be chaotic. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Don't have to tell me twice. Stand over there. Get him. Stand over there. Get him. Where, where him. They? Oh, there they are. There they are. Aim for the knees. Uh, Ow, nope. The <laughs> Getting incredibly Thank close you. to Hootie here. Come on, Hootie. Give it to him, Hootie. <laughs> I feel like Zinc might have oh, a no. home advantage. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the home team advantage. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I just missed him. <laughs> oh, come oh, on. Oh, that was Go team. Go team. Oh. Go team. Zinc is dodging all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit was... still. That's what we were trying to do. Carnage, mm -hmm. carnage, carnage. Somebody get carnage. ready. Fire the game. Oh, did you put on the? Did you put on the rain from above? You got to put on the rain from above somewhere. Quick. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> oh, is it really gonna rain arrows down now? <laughs> As I said, it's oh, not. It's that not. One almost clobbered you. <laughs> it's more like a light trickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Man. gosh. I'm so bad at this. Hold on, there's a chaos, house. Chaos, 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 chaos. Oh, got him! You can't go in the house, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! no. Oh. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold well on. done. You know what's crazy? I have half a heart left. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, you know what to do. Well done. Stay right there. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bush. Yeah. Awesome. I did so badly, I thought I would also include some footage here of Impala and Lane having a match, just so you can see what it's like when the pros do it. <laughs> Have to drop again. Oh, now that we're doing oh no! Lane, let's, oh, no. let's uh, oh, meet with our friend Lane's right here. He's teleporting around. He's teleporting. <laughs> hey, Hootie. How are you doing, little guy? Come here. Help out with our friend. Not a petting zoo. <laughs> Fight. Ooh, he puffed up, though. Fight. Fight. <laughs> Fight. Uh, this is, Look, this I'm is trying to get my frames here. a second. To stri there we go. Okay. Yo, my this is personal here. Right now. Holy cow. Where are you going? Yes, oh, no, no. Yes. No, no, you give me away. Booty got me! Booty got me! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, berries, thank you. Get me out of here! Back up yeah. the rockets could hit you. I'm trying to get everyone. <laughs> go, 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 go. Can you stand in front of the dispenser, please? Oh, no, the bush. <laughs> yeah, bush. get it. Get it, bush. <laughs> in the lava. In the lava. Yeah, I almost jumped in the lava, too. Those oh, I almost got it. Very well. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> two hearts. Uh, All right, nice. do, do it. G -G. Oh, my game. Ah. Oh. GG. Oh. <laughs> That's, so That's my hand! That's my hand! <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll go next. I'll go next.
That was so much fun. It was a great way to spend my birthday was with my friends and just having some fun. And, and I was just glad of the people who could, who could actually make it. It was, it was a fantastic time. Where am I? I am actually in the PvP arena. I'm downstairs. I, you haven't seen this yet. Look, let me go back out and I will owl. And I will show you. So here, see, PvP Arena. And this is the main hallway where you would select either blue or red. And the observers are going to go up those up the elevator there. Um, and yeah, then you pick a room, blue or red, whichever one it is that you want to be in. You head down here, down the long corridor. You set your... Op oh, good. Someone's left me some berries. You empty your inventory. And then you set your spawn. Uh, you know, I've got just some little things, just a bed and a lamp and a chest and things like that here, just for people. And then over this side, I've got, uh, yeah, crafting benches and things, just to give it a bit of decor. And uh, yeah, so set your spawn. Oh, I didn't know it was heading to night time. I wasn't being observant. Anyway, so after you've set your spawn and emptied your inventory, you would head up here and off you would go. And... Yeah, the, so I'll plant some I'll plant some berries as I run around talking to you. So I did some changes to things. I wanted to make things a little bit more difficult, as you saw in that little clip there. Um, Hooty the Blowfish from uh, Doom Raider made it back. He's in this game as well, and uh, he ouch he hurts. See, he hurts. You don't even need to get in the pond with him. Just get close, and it, it'll hurt you. Um, and put things like the little lavas around and stuff like that. Uh, lots of berry bushes. Uh, and I, I'll put some more down. And also spread out these um, magma blocks as well so that you could cause more pain as you head around. Of course, there's the observing deck so people can shoot you. I like this one at the top there. That that hurts if you get caught in it. More lava around here. Um Yes, so proud of how this turned out. Came out a real treat. And uh, yeah, and just just so much fun. Having these here as you come straight up from the uh, from the little entrance points here, that that's so much fun. If you can get someone from the very start from inside the observing tower, that, that would be a great way to start. They do a lot of damage. The flight duration threes, they, they really hurt. Uh, yeah, so I mean, this is it. And and you know it came up really good there are a couple of things i have to fix number one i feel like i need to get a place where the people who are observing can come out to beat up the people in the arena because we had a match with uh empress little bit and izzy where they just walked around planting flowers basically um, i'll place some in here because people were hiding in the little corners here so i'll try and make that a little bit more difficult uh, yeah, and so we need somewhere where people can jump down and, and get involved if they need to. <laughs> Hang on, I'll grab some more. Ow, see? See how well they work, these berries? Um, yeah, we'll just get these down in these corners here. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this all came out and giving it a good test run. It was a lot of fun and, uh, and really had a great day. It was really good. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yes. I spent more time with goats. Let me show you something with screaming goats. Wait, stop. Before we do that, before we do that, I need to show you a little problem. If anyone has an answer for this, I'd like it. So this rain from above thing, I can turn the speed up so that it rains more and so that it causes more pain and it's a bit more difficult to get away from. But I have a problem and that is that I need to put... Oh, why did I put my carrots in there? <laughs> I need a better source of arrows. Um, I have a few in there. Um, I... I just, if I could guarantee more arrows up here, then I could turn the speed up and then it would be more difficult. But it takes a lot. We're looking at what 13, realistically, like 13 double chests is what I need up here. I think it's 13. Um, I could use the XP farm. Hang on, let's take a look at that. Okay. Okay. I'm back here at the XP farm. Um, 
So I have set this up to be a little bit gunpowder heavy at the moment. I could remove that and then it seems to be more skeleton heavy. Uh, yeah. The only thing is that there's no way to guarantee it, right? So you're going to get zombies and you're going to get clouds in your face. No! That's why I turned clouds off. Now I remember. Um... Yeah, you could, you're going to get zombies, you're going to get creepers, and you're going to get skeletons up here. So it's not fast either. I guess I could make them. I could make arrows. What do I need? Chickens, flint, wood. That seems like a pain. If anyone has an answer on how I can get a billion arrows very, very quickly, then please let me know. All right. Now, what was I going to do before I got so um, distracted by not having arrows. Ah, goat horns. Yes, goat horns. Let's go out and just do the goat horn thing. <laughs> <It's just laughs> there are no words. It's just... It's, why does this exist? Why is it a thing? It's just insanity. Well, luckily, I have got all the heads I need. So, um, all of these guys are um, superfluous to what needs to happen. So, I, I, don't, I guess I could leave them. I guess I could let them roam the countryside. Actually, it's quite endearing how annoying they are. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's what I should do, is just let them loose. Just so that when other people come, they can find the screaming goats too. And then, uh, ow, 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 stop it. I'm about to let you free. Can you uh, just stop for a sec? Look, get out. All of you, get out. Go. Beat the st I will... Oh. Just stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> the screaming is hysterical. Anyway, as I said, we got the heads. The only one that's really doing my head in now is the pollinated angry bees. I feel like I've killed a billion of them and I can't get them. Um, anyway, screaming goats set free. Look at this. The hills are alive with the sound of screaming. Uh, so... Oh, look, we have something new on the server. Oh, this is, uh, this is Empress Little Bit's uh, library over here. Now, I had a bit of a discussion with Empress Little Bit this week. We were talking in Discord, and I asked her what I should build, that I, I, was, I was just short of an idea, and what should I build? And she hit me back almost straight away with... A tree house. So, I built a tree house. And so here it is. No, this is the library. This is... I <laughs> just thought I'd show. So Empress Little Bits Library is there. We have the Iron Farm over here, which is one of Izzy's creations. As we head down the Silver Ribbon Road towards Zion, if you haven't seen Zion yet, he's a very beautiful Australian-accented fellow. Uh, he appears in Empress Little Bits video. Um, and then over here, well, shaders on. Here we have the treehouse. This is it. This is what we've created. So we've done some terraforming around this area here. I did, as usual, add a little pond. More than just a pond. Look at this. See, I even went to the trouble of working out where the uh, waterfall would come from if you if you had a little waterfall here. It's not much, it's a little creek that, that runs from up the top here and uh, and just heads down and then plonks down into the into the beautiful pond. Um, we have done some garden work to make it all look pretty around and let me just show you in free cam. And then we built this beautiful big tree in the middle here and a, a beautiful little tree house. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? I really like it.
I think it looks fantastic. Gone with the cherry blossom uh, flowers down beneath. Oh, I did also add a little pathway through from the back of E's uh, library here. And, yeah, so you can come through and go around the treehouse and, and even pretty up this area around here a little bit too. Um, so, yeah, I've done that. Let's go up the annoying spiral staircase. Um, actually, it came out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that. And then up here, we've just got a couple of chairs set down and some bookcases just with a book or two in there that someone's obviously borrowed from the library. Um, it's very, it's very good for your hay fever up here. <laughs> if you have hay fever, <laughs> it's a terrible thing. Um, I created these little chairs that I sort of like, sort of. They're, um, they're a lot of fun. And yeah, just a, a nice little peaceful area that you could, you could come up and sit down in and then look out over the server or look out over some trees and things, um, yeah, just a just a very quaint little little build, um, and I I think it looks great. I think it really came up good. The the tree itself. Um, so we do have some splor spl splor blah 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 spore blossom flower thingamajigs there, as well as some of the cherry blossoms here, which are dropping down. Just the occasional pink one. Unfortunately, the cherry blossom ones they stop when they hit anything. See? See how it stopped as soon as it hit that? Look, do it again. Do it again. How far down do they go? See, it'll go all the way down, down until it hits that tree, and then it'll stop. The green ones, however, seem to... Or maybe it's just that there are more of them. Do they stop when they hit the thing? Hit, what? No, see? They path through. Why do the pink ones stop, but the, but the green ones keep going? That doesn't seem fair. That green one there? Yeah, look, it's still traveling over there. Oh, look at that guy. Um, yeah, so we've got some some sporing type stuff, something to give it a bit, a bit of atmosphere. We've got the tree coming out in like a tangled root sort of system down the bottom, a little bit of blending up, um, just some little things like mangrove roots underneath here to, to give it a bit of a sort of a, what is it, a furry sort of support root sort of system underneath there. Um, and then you've got the lit up area inside here, which is for you, for where you're going to read your books and things, or sit down and read some magazines or whatever it is that you kids do. Um, and then up the top here, yeah, these leaves, the azaleas looking like sort of a growth or a a viney type thing, and then the cherry blossom leaves as well. Um, yeah, I tried to go with, I didn't want to go with a big mushroom of leaves. I wanted it to be like a tree that was sort of coming out from branches. And each one of these, even though you can't see them necessarily, does have branches inside. And that's what I like to do is to build branches first and then cover them in the leaves and things like that. But uh, I think the tree came out great. I think the tree house looks amazing. I think this whole area is really pretty and and looks really great with what Empress Little Bit's done there as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's our build for this week. Not that I'm assigned to build, but I just thought it would be fun to do. Um, oh, I went with, with the paths. I normally do these paths, right, where I... I dig out a little bit, I put a bit of gravel down and things. I thought this time I'd add a few little um, copper blocks and some of the, um, the, uh, you, that block. Coal, ore, that's the words that I'm looking for. Just to break it up a little bit, just to give it a little bit of break up. I don't like where that block is. That block's in the wrong spot. I feel like it needs to move over at least two there. Let's see from over here. Ah, that looks much better. Look at how much better that looks. Um, yeah, so lots of gardens, lots of pretty things. Now down underneath here, so originally there was a huge ravine that ran through, all the way through the river and all the way through to here. Um, and I filled all of this up, except down underneath where I've created a little mob spawner in the corner here, and down under here where there is some uh, where the ravine continues on down below. Um, 
That doesn't come from me, does it? I didn't create that. No, that comes from there. Good. That's not me. Good. Um, yeah, so that's that. I still haven't got my watercolour quite right here. I will fix that. Um, yeah, I think it looks great. I think, I think we've done a great job. That will do us for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, before we go on, um, as many of you would already know, the US got hit by terrible uh, hurricanes in this last week. Um, the Craftworks members, as well as a couple of other small SMPs, put together some live streams to raise charity. They raised over $3,000 to go straight into the pockets of people who are in need over there. I've got a link down in my description. If you have a spare dollar or two, just stick your hand in your pocket and... and Click that link and, and donate to that charity. It's a really worthy cause. Thank you so much. Guys, I love you all to death. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And I will speak to you next week. Have a great week, guys. All right, see you later and bye.